Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel and today I am here to discuss something very, very important with you guys now. Look, just by the title of this video, I'm pretty sure that you guys already know that this video, or the title itself should be able to tell you that this video is going to contain very, very highly possible spoilers for The Last of Us 2, the story for The Last of Us 2, this could contain some serious spoilers. So if you do not want any spoilers, even potential spoilers, please click off the video. And again, the title alone should warn you about spoilers. So if you've clicked on it, then I'm going to just assume that you are either okay with spoilers or you were never just, just or you were just never gonna buy this game in the first place. So here we go. I've already given you guys my spoiler warning. Now, before we get into the actual video, or before we continue with the video, I do have to remind you that if you like my content, and if you want to support my content, please remember to click on that like button, share this video with as many people as possible. If you have a Twitter account, share this video. Get, get this video out to as many people as possible so we can grow our following here so this channel can get a lot bigger. And also remember to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, if you're watching this, uh, please, please, please uh, consider subscribing. And if you do, remember to click on the bell icon to let you know every single time I post a brand new video. And that is especially important because I have been hearing from a lot of the, uh, the, uh, the uh, YouTubers that I follow that they have been getting messages from their subscribers saying that their videos that they post do not show up on their feed. So if that is indeed true, please, um, please remember to, uh, to check, okay? Check your feed always, check your subscriptions page to, so you can uh, see, like it, my video should show up there if you are subscribed to me. Okay, so now with all of that out of the way, let's get into these and why this is making me seriously worried about, this is just, this is depressing because The Last of Us 2 was a game I have been looking forward to ever since the game was announced. In fact, if you've been following me, then you'll know that I did a reaction to the trailer that they released a long time ago and I was really excited, I was loving what I was seeing. But then these leaks came out and a lot of people have been saying that they've seen video footage of it and it does seem to confirm the leaks. So again, I am warning you guys one more time if you do not want spoilers because this could give you, this could give away everything that happens in the game. Well, maybe not everything, but like every major plot point of the story. So if you do not want that, again, that is your final, final warning because I'm not going to warn you, any, I'm not going to give you any more warnings after this, okay? If you're still watching, that's on you. It's your choice. So let's get into them and why, just... I can't. Look, I, I hope this is wrong. I genuinely hope this is wrong. But then again, um, like I said, people, I've seen people here in the in the replies that they said that they've seen videos that that were leaked online of the story, and I got to, I saw some of it, and it does match with what's written here. So again, sorry, just one more time. Again, I I, I said I wasn't gonna warn you one more time, but just in case. This is genuinely your final warning. Final spoiler warning, okay? That's it. Let's get into them. So here we go. Um, so first, first of all, first and foremost, it says here, one of the surgeons Joel killed had a daughter called Abby. Now I'm gonna assume that when, he, when it says one of the surgeons, that means at the end of the last game, if you remember, at the end of the first game, they managed to reach the uh, fireflies and you know Joel managed to get Ellie there and they said that uh, you know thanks to Ellie being immune to the the, uh, the the virus that's spreading around and that's causing people to turn into the uh, zombies like she might be able to help them find a cure and if you remember while you were in the game uh, you ended up shooting the uh, the doctors although I'm thinking about it and I'm thinking like maybe that was optional but I'm guessing uh, in this game that's pretty much gonna like not not take that into consideration. But it says here that one of the surgeons that Joel killed, I'm guessing in the room, has a daughter called Abby. Now keep that in mind because that's gonna come back. Okay, so the second point is the Firefly Massacre destroyed her whole life. She's been looking for revenge ever since. Knew who Ellie was because of her dad talking about their shot at a cure, 
figured out Joel from Firefly Records. Okay, so she fig finds out about everything that happened. She finds out that Joel killed all the surgeons and, you know, to save Ellie, and that he's the one who basically ended up massacring most of the, uh, the members of uh, uh, the Fireflies. And now she's basically out there looking for payback. Okay, so the next point says, the cult attacks Ellie's settlement and she, Jesse, and Dinah are part of the group sent to track down and attack it. Jesse is killed during this. Now, I'm going to assume, now we already know who Ellie is. Di Dinah, we, I'm guessing she was the girl in the, uh, uh, the trailer, the E3 trailer that came out. And Jesse, I'm guessing, was the, uh, the guy. So, Jesse dies. <sighs> okay, so he dies and Ellie and Dina are still alive. So... Look, I already have some assumptions as to why he's the one who dies out of both of them, out of all three of them, but let's just move on. So the next point that says, Ellie is now violently angry and goes to Seattle looking for the cult's home to wipe it out. Meets Joel there because he heard about Jesse and came back to help her. Now this is where, this is where things get interesting after this. Abby finds Ellie because she's been in conflict with the cult too. Uh, so when Ellie hunts them to Seattle and is set to attack them with Joel, her group finds them and attack. So I'm going to guess like, okay, so they're both basically um, like both Ellie and Joel and then Abby and her group are like, the, like they're fighting with these cults. Like if you remember, I did a video about, uh, about this where, you know, like Troy Baker who voices Joel came out and said, uh, like, uh, you know, like people who go, who go into this game just remember to keep an open mind. And I said that usually in this day and age when you tell someone that they need to keep an open mind, usually it means one thing, which is never a good sign, okay? It's just, oh, God. And again, reading this, oh, just, like I'm genuinely, genuinely considering just not buying the game. Actually, I, I think I'm almost convinced that I will not buy this game, especially if this is indeed true. So, and we get to the next point, which is, this, this is the part that I really want to talk about, or this and then everything else. She kills Joel herself, takes Ellie back to camp, debating what to do with her since for all her hate, she doesn't blame her for the massacre. So, apparently Abby gets what she wants and she kills Joel. So Joel, so, so Joel dies. And I know a lot of people are going to say, well... You know, I mean, look, people kind of expected Joel to die. Look, n n not not really. I didn't expect him to die. I mean, look, one of the things that I loved about the last game is that you were following these two characters that you just love. And now it seems like you don't even meet Joel until like a little bit into the game. And even then, when you do meet him, it seems like a little bit later, you um, he, get, he gets himself killed by uh, this, this Abby bitch. So the later thing, so afterwards, uh, she says, Ellie butchers her group to escape, and Abby's now motivated to hunt her down. Okay, so now she's even more motivated for her revenge. But this is where we get into the really, uh, really stupid, no, you know, this is dumb. This, if this is true, then this is indeed dumb. So it seems like, because it says here, the second half of the game is spent as Abby chasing Ellie. So you're not even playing as Ellie anymore. Do you guys remember when they said that how in the first game you were mostly in control of Joel and you were mostly following him? And yeah, there were some segments where you were playing as Ellie, but for the most part you were playing as Joel. And they said that in this game you were going to play mostly as Ellie. And we all assumed that maybe there were going to be some parts where you're going to take control of Joel again. You're going to get to play as him, but it was mostly going to be Ellie. Well, it seems like all of that was bullshit. Because it says here that the second, the entire second half of the game, you're gonna play th this this Abby bitch. Like why? Why we we want to follow Joel and Ellie? We, why are you giving us this brand new character just out of nowhere? And now you're controlling her, and it seems like now you're playing as her and you're hunting Ellie and you're supposed to kill her. So, because this point right here says Ellie continues hunting the cult while you chase her down. So, like, the game wants you to find Ellie and kill her. Why? Because listen to this. The ending is Ellie and Abby fighting to the death. Now, remember when I said, um, I said I saw some footage of the, the some, some of the footage that was leaked. Now, the one that I saw wasn't Ellie and Abby fighting to the death. They, from what I know, they do have um, they do actually have another point 
where they fight, like a little bit earlier in the game, to where Ellie and Abby get into a fight, and just as Abby's about to kill Ellie, that's when the character, uh, what was her name? Uh, Dina comes in, she tackles Abby to the ground, they both fight, and uh, I'm guessing, like, I, I remember there was a point where Dina's about to, uh, like, she's, 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 she's hitting her, but she gets hit in, the, hit in the shoulder with an arrow from that kid that we saw in the, uh, the Paris Games uh, trailer. Remember that kid with the arrow? Yeah, I, 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 she was there, apparently. And then when that happens, basically Abby tackles Zena to the ground, and she just starts smashing her head into, head into the, uh, the ground, and Ellie is there, like, begging her to stop. And just as, um, and when she hears that, she basically lifts Dina's head up and holds a knife to her throat, and just as she's about to slit her throat, like, um, that's when the other, um, that, that, that little girl that shot uh, Abby, uh, Dina in the, in the shoulder with an arrow tells her to stop and that she shouldn't do it. So, um, so yeah, see, I'm, I'm confused, because if that is indeed true, then it kind of, like, contradicts what was already said in the, like, what was, what we already know from the marketing of this movie, because if you remember the very first trailer, Joel shows up, and talks to uh, Ellie while she's playing the whole guitar, and he's asking her if she's really gonna go through with this, and she says, um, I'm gonna find and kill every last one of them, and she was pretty pissed. Now, f and then when the next trailer came out, we all assumed, you know, because she's getting close to this uh, character whom we now know is Dina, like, okay, now we assume that maybe something happens to her, and like, she maybe gets, like, just, like just as she's about to think that she's about to find someone who's gonna make her happy, this this this, like it gets taken away from her, and I'm guessing that's what basically turns her like into this blood a blood hungry, um, or bloodthirsty just psychopath that just wants to kill everything, and yeah. So apparently, if this is indeed true, because if what we, if what we if what I know is true, then Dina doesn't even die. So. Does this mean that she's pissed at them for killing Joel? Does it mean she's pissed at her for killing Joel? I mean, if that's the case, I get it, but... Like, why are you why are you playing as Abby? That's what I want to know. Why are you taking control of Abby? I don't care about Abby. I want to play as Ellie. I want to play as Joel. I want to follow those two characters. The characters that we know. So, the ending is... This This is the part... They, these two, These two right here. These two points right here are... This is what this is what gets this is what gets me so pissed off, and this is what's getting a lot of people pissed off. Listen to this. So you end up killing Ellie as Abby, and she leaves while realizing she's not really one in any meaningful way, since all she's done is get more of her loved ones killed for the sake of her killing Joel and then Ellie. Uh, and the ending is a cycle of revenge with the loose implication Ellie's friends will hunt Abby now in return. So. Apparently the whole theme of the game is that revenge is bad and revenge is oh. And they say it right there there that's the whole game so apparently that's how the that's how the game ends so Joel and Ellie both die in this game and what sucks about it is Throughout the the entire second part of the game, you don't even take control of either of them. First of all, Joel dies in the first half, and then until the end of the game, you're playing as someone completely different. Which, why, why? If you want to do the theme of revenge, okay, fine, but have it be Ellie. Have her be the one to learn that getting revenge is not the right way. Like, why not have the game end with Ellie? Like killing Abby for what she did with Joel, and then her realizing, or you know, like have Dina, or first of all, have her actually kill Dina, and then her getting revenge on Abby for basically killing both Joel and Dina. Like first of all, you kill her, her father figure, like the person that she's come to see as her like father, and like this person that she started to grow close, she started to grow close to, you end up killing her, and then you kill her friend, and even before that, you kill her friend. And you know she ends up getting obsessed, and now she's now she wants revenge. But no, you you end up taking control of Abby. Like why? <coughs> if you, again, if you want to do the theme of revenge, that's fine. But why are you taking control of a completely different character? Why not do that while still playing as Ellie? 
Like, why not have her learn the lesson of, you know, like, revenge doesn't really get you anything. And you, you basically sacrifice the characters that we love for your theme. Basically, they, they ended up doing exactly what Star Wars and Game of Thrones did. They sacrificed story for themes. S story for themes. It's just... Okay, they basically... Why they're like Game of Thrones? Well, because they want to see the your expectations. Remember that stupid bullshit excuse that people keep using now to excuse bad storytelling? Yeah, that, that shit. And why is it... Why it's like Star Wars? Because, well, like I already said, they sacrifice storytelling for their stupid themes. Like, it doesn't matter if the story is shit as long as you get your theme across. It's just... I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop right here. I'm not gonna rant about this anymore. This is dumb. If this is indeed true, I am not buying the game. I am not gonna waste money on this stupid piece of shit story. Okay? I am not... Because I've already decided I'm done wasting time and money on piece of shit entertainment. Okay? I'm done. I am officially done. But anyway, that's it. That's all I have to say. If you've watched up until this point, if you didn't leave when I give you the warning about all the spoilers, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Are you still going to buy the game even after hearing all this shit if this is indeed true? I don't know. Let me know all of that as usual in the comment section down below. And remember, if you like my content and if you really want to support my content, please remember to like, share, leave a comment. And again, more importantly, remember to subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Because look, guys, I check the analytics and I know that most of the people who watch my channel are people who are not subscribed. So if you're not subscribed, please do so. It's not going to cost you anything. Help me get this channel to a thousand subs so I can grow this channel. And it can hopefully reach a wider audience. Thank you so much for watching up until this point. You guys have been awesome as always. And I hope you genuinely join me for my next video. Thank you so much. Bye.